Hi, my name is James Cornelius. I am the curator of the Lincoln Collection here at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. We are talking about our Artifact of the Month for June today. This is Abraham Lincoln's Promissory Note. This is part of our permanent home campaign. We hope that you can help us keep it here at the Presidential Library and Museum for all to see and enjoy. Lincoln wrote this in the year 1833. He had turned 21 about the time that his family moved to Illinois. He was old enough to set off on his own. He didn't really have a job, but he wanted to be an adult. And he was hired by a guy to take a flatboat of goods down the Mississippi River to New Orleans and sell them. When he came back, he worked in that same man's shop in New Salem, a little village of a couple hundred people in central Illinois. That shop failed. Lincoln decided to borrow some money and start his own little general store. He didn't really have a trade otherwise. This is the note that he and two others signed for $379.82 to buy a batch of goods to open a general store. That's about the equivalent of $20,000 today. The store failed. He was up to his neck in debt. He was 25 years old. Along with other debts at the time of a total of about $1,100, this was the biggest part of it, $1,100 was close to $40,000, $45,000. That was a future president. He really didn't have a job. He didn't have much of an idea what to do. One of the co-signers of this died, left Lincoln with his whole share of it. And then the guy who really was owed the money decided these guys may not be good for the money anymore. He sold it to another guy. He sold it to a Dutch man named Peter Van Bergen. Van Bergen took Lincoln to court and sued him to get the money back. For years after that, Lincoln told jokes about stingy Dutchmen. So the sheriff's sale ended up with Lincoln's horse being sold, his bridle being sold, his saddle being sold, and his surveyor's to tools, his surveyor's tools being sold to pay off Van Bergen the Dutchman. Lincoln had nowhere to go, but he did still have an axe, and a friend of his bought the tools and his horse from the sheriff's auction, gave him back to Lincoln. Lincoln paid him back later on. It took him a while. That's the story of a sad guy at the age of 24 going into debt who didn't get cleared of debt, we think, until he was about age 30. 27 years after he signed this, he was president of the United States. He just kept working. Join us again next month and help us support the Permanent Home Campaign. Thank you.